As some of you know, last year I decided to purchase an MPC 4000. I absolutely love this machine. It's just packed with features. I've actually invested time understanding how the MIDI works within my MPC 4000 and as much outboard gear as I have, really a shame to never even have attempted to utilize the MIDI. So that's been an amazing feature for me. There's only one complaint that I have about the MPC 4000, and that is this ridiculous layout of the letters. Let me explain a little bit. This is my baby, the MPC 2000 XL. I have owned this since it has been brand new. I bought it in Guitar Center, like back in 01 or 2002. This was my first actual sampler and uh, I've had it ever since. And it's like my right arm. I know this thing inside and out and I absolutely love it. Here's what's brilliant about this design. Over here, there's pads and you got pad one, which gives you A and B, pad two, C and D, pad three, E and F, so on and so forth. So when I'm naming something, let's say I want to call it dandy right for dandy ass beat you got two times d one a and then you're in hit it two times right here boom 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 it's done now let's go back to the mpc 4000 well the mpc 4000 for some reason didn't utilize naming that on the pads they've resorted to this really weird mishmash of just confusion right it's like it's like navigating a labyrinth so you have and you'll see here that a through f is right here at the very top and then you have i all the way to w on the far right hand side of the uh, mpc and then you just have to kind of navigate down south on the on the bottom part portion of the mpc and then you have x y z this is probably the most ridiculous thing I've ever... It almost encourages you never to name anything at all, which we all know that that is an absolute fatal mistake when it comes to uh, beat building and saving your creations. So I have for years used an old school computer keyboard. I've had it since I purchased a Macintosh G5 tower and uh, I love the way it sounds. It sounds beautiful and clacky, you know what I mean? It's a nostalgic thing, I guess, for me. However, the size of it is just kind of inconvenient as to where I have my MPC laid out. Because when you lay this uh, this keyboard in front of my MPC, it, you can see where it just kind of like sticks out and it can fall over. And then it's also a wired keyboard. And if it fell onto the ground, I mean, you're talking about yanking on that uh, USB port which obviously eventually it's going to ruin that port. So my solution was to find a USB wireless uh, keyboard that I could utilize just to name the tracks on the MPC 4000. And then I stumbled into something very interesting and peculiar. D Pony Bro, the Pony Bro. Yes, that's probably one of the goofiest names you ever heard, right? However, this is brilliant because I think it's designed to like being able to list off like a TV show or something on Netflix. You know, you can plug in the USB on the back of your uh, smart TV and then you have access to be able to type out stuff instead of using a remote control, which is fantastic. It's like very similar to the issues that you run into with uh, naming tracks and, and samples on a sampler. So this is wireless USB and I was praying to the music guys that this would actually work. So I ordered it, and it's only going to set you back not very much. We'll go over the price in just a minute. So I ordered it, got here in two days, plug in the USB. There's a switch here on the very back of the panel. Now it switches on, you see the light there, right? And if you look here on the MPC, if I wanted, for example, create a sequence. Pause that for a minute. All right, now I am actually set up so you can take a look and see what I'm talking about. So let's go to another track, okay? Look, look how stupid this is. I'm trying to go to my main menu, and now I just uh, called this Dan Yu. So let's go back to uh, let's go back to the main screen. Here we are on the main screen, right? So now let's go to sequence three. It's unused. I still have to utilize the window button on the MPC 4000. Use my track wheel to engage it 
And now let's put this sucker to the test. We're gonna name this sequence, let's call it the GG Allen sequence. GG Allen. Let's call it GG All In. Look at that. It's done. I mean, this is this is about the best thing I ever did. Now, how much is it gonna set you back? This cost me about $24 shipped. So this is exactly what I was looking for. I couldn't be more excited for something like a like an afterthought piece of gear that is just going to change my life into naming something in an NPC. Uh, so I hope that helps. Remember, you can pick these things up. They're not very, uh, they're very cost efficient. And uh, it looks like it's gonna do exactly what I was hoping it would do. And so there you go. The pony bro, the pony bro. I'm super excited about it. Anyway, this is Chameleon Sessions and I'll be posting a new video pretty soon. Peace.